Today we're going to head out the range with Frank Proctor of the Way of the Gun, and he's going to discuss with some ways to safely and effectively shoot around those vehicles. Hey, what's up, y'all? Frank Proctor from Way of the Gun Performance Shooting, back out the range again. Today we're going to talk about working in and around vehicles. Uh, first of all, let's talk a little bit about uh, weapon selection or gun selection for in and around vehicles. Uh, huge fan of something along the lines of about a 14 and a half inch carbine. Uh, it served me well over time. Um, 14 and a half inch gun with the stock extended, able to do everything I need to do in the world of CQB. Um, rural stuff, uh, urban stuff worked really well. Hey, you throw, uh, you know, throw a nice piece of glass on there and shoot some ammo out of it. That's a, or some good ammo out of it. That's a 700 meter rifle. Okay, so I'm pretty, pretty big fan of this gun or that that size gun. In the AR-15 platform. However, uh, I found myself in Iraq working in and out of uh, Suburban quite a bit, and I was driving the Suburban. Had options, okay? I could either run the 14-inch gun, collapse the stock up a little bit, and rest it kind of along my leg, and that for it made it a little bit more difficult to deploy the thing, okay? I'd have to kind of pull it up and around and out of the vehicle. So I started putting a 10-inch upper on, collapsing the stock up, was able to get a package that was about this big and fit across my lap, and as the driver, I could shoot out the window if I needed to, or it was a little bit easier to deploy out of the vehicle with that gun. Um, well, Troy has got an excellent solution to that. All right, this is the M7A1 PDW from Troy Defense. You can see this thing is very nice and compact. We're fitting a lap very nicely uh, with the stock collapsed up. When we need to extend the stock, we push on this uh, button here on the back, pull out on the stock, and now you've got a little bit more shootable platform where you can deliver a little bit more aggressive rate of fire if you need to. Okay? Uh, excellent solution for working in and out of vehicles. Also, it would conceal very well, too, for, uh, for low-vis type work. All right, so now that we've uh, talked a little about um, weapons consideration, let's talk about employing those weapons in and around vehicles and some things that are important, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, put this magazine in there to have it for uh, some stability for right now. Flat surfaces of vehicles are not flat. All right, so we've got some considerations there, okay? Hoods, roofs, trunks, or whatever, uh, usually curved, okay? So if we go down and rest the forearm of the rifle against whatever it is we're using for support or cover, all right, there's a potential for line of sight and line of bore to be different. So I'm looking down there at a target through the sight, but the bore is absolutely, all right, this bullet's absolutely gonna hit the, uh, the hood of this car or van, whatever have you. Um, kind of like sewage. Right, the problem with that is, number one, if this is a, a tactical shooting or defensive shooting situation, that bullet didn't go where you needed it to go. Then where did it go? Maybe it stayed here inside of the trunk, maybe it deflected, went somewhere else, um, maybe sent frag back on you or, or other people around you, okay? So a bad plan. So I got a couple golden rules for working around vehicles or, or the flat surfaces, okay? We either go magazine in contact with what we're using for stability and support um, or cover, that keeps the line of sight and line of bore completely safe for us. Um, the other thing we can do is roll the gun to its side, okay, and then we end up with line of sight and line of bore being exactly the same, and we don't have any issues, okay. Now, we can, uh, let's go ahead and uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and gas the gun up, and we'll shoot a little bit. We'll sit this over out of the way so we don't uh, blast that thing. All right. Oh, while we're at it, another consideration. Glass. All right, you may want to keep the glass on the vehicle that you're shooting around intact in case you have to use that vehicle, you know, to uh, to go somewhere else in later after the shooting's over. So I look at a kind of a general rule of staying at least 12 inches off the glass with the muzzle, and okay, that's going to keep any gas or anything off your muzzle device or brake or uh, or even flash hider from busting your windshield, okay, or your side glass or what have you. All right. Now, so let's go ahead and work on that uh, over the top thing. We'll get nice and stable. All right. Get us a couple shots out down there. All right, we're able to do some work there. Now, if we need to shoot, uh, need to get a little bit lower, further reduce our signature, we can roll the gun flat, okay? Get the gun mounted onto our shoulder there so we got some stability. If we can, we can on this van. I like to keep the magazine in contact so that gives us another point of contact. Uh, but we're gonna get some control over the gun with our shoulder, firing hand grip, and grip and hold of the, uh, the EOTech here and be able to get some decent fire here. Able to work pretty well there. Okay, um, some other considerations for working in and around vehicles. Um, if you need to work underneath it, I'd look at mobility. How can we quickly get underneath the vehicle, get some support and stability to be able to shoot, and be able to quickly get out of that position. Okay, um, lots of lots of stuff to work in and around vehicles. Cover a good bit of it in some of my courses. Come out, we'll go a little bit further in depth on this stuff. 
But for now, that's what we got. See you later. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Caltech, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Talon Ordnance, Eagle Shield, Nemo Arms, Fax and Firearms, Copus Mobile, Black Forge Weapons, Battle Rifle Company, Vertex, Wiley X, Dark Angel, and Meredith Rifles. We'd like to dedicate this show to my popa, retired Colonel Malcolm Mickey McFall. Airborne all the way, popa. Closed caption provided by Wiley X.